Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, December 24th, 2023, on the Drogue Bowl Group, Beer So we don't do much traditions anymore, but we're going to finish one, finish one up tonight, as it is the penultimate night of beer advent, which we kind of just gave up on that too. Uh, but yeah, it, it, any excuse to drink a beer, and especially one of the best beers in the world, well, I'm going to take that excuse. So from the 2022 Double Tempest Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout, our pals at Amsterdam released this. We've had this year's already, and now we're going to go them back, and then as we do, we drink last year's on Christmas Eve. That way they don't stick around too long, although I do have a 2018 I noticed down here. So I was going to get into that too, but that kind of got uh, put by the wayside. What are you going to do? I already took off some of the waxies there. I don't mind a wax sealed bottle. They're not that hard to get open. You run them under a little hot water there. You loosen the wax. You're good to go. It's fine. It's fine and dandy. This is one of the best uh, BBA Imperial Stouts when it comes out. Like, it's ready to go. Because a lot of times you get them and they're super hot, right? Like, they're really, they're over the top boozy. It overshadows everything else. But I, if I'm a double tempest every year when it comes out, that they have Amsterdam just to dial it in so good. So it's always nice. And then a year later, it's just a beautiful treat to have. All right, so let's get into it. There you go. The Merry Christmases to you. I was going to say, I was start telling people, I hope you have the Christmas you deserve. It sounds ominous, but I mean, if you've been a good person, you should have a good Christmas. And if not, well, think about that, maybe. Cheers. Utterly delicious. I, like, you can age these for as long as you want, really. I mean, at some point, they're going to start to lose their thing, but it's still just this beautiful and um, integrated wall of chocolate, molasses, um, vanilla, bourbon, oaky, woody, but very, very still that warming kind of boozy back end. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It has that nice dark roasted malt bitterness, but that bourbon in this, and it's Elijah Craig bourbon barrels, I guess. I don't know. I've had Elijah Craig. It's okay. I'm not really a huge fan of bourbon. I, I tend to... I, Drifted over to 100% rye whiskey. I find I like the spiciness a little bit better. Uh, it's time to switch to whiskey. We've been drinking beer all night. Not really. It's our second beer in like, I don't know, three hours. Ooh, better be careful. Better slow down there. Hope you have the Christmas you deserve. If I get the Christmas I deserve, I'm going to need more beer. <laughs> it is a delicate balance to find... Um, because these beers can, can just be too hot or they're too much of one thing and too much of another. It's just perfect. It's a perfect beer. It's beautiful. It is it is great for a cold December night, as Mr. Buble would say. Uh, I haven't watched a Buble special this year. I know there's not a new one, but you can always find the old ones on the YouTubes there. But just, I don't feel it. Yeah, you got it. You got to get a little Buble. All right. There you go. Hope you all have a great night. Do what you got to do, what you want to do, where you got to be, what you got to be. Put on a happy face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take it easy, my friends. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Tomorrow? Oh, I got some stuff lined up for tomorrow. It's going to be a Merry Christmas to me, from me, for me.